normally not much of a beer drinker, but I drove eight hours today from Chicago to Clarion, Pennsylvania to this micro hotel. So I am treating myself with some yingling. But why am I in Clarion, Pennsylvania? For those of you that don't know, I am an intimacy director. That means that for the past couple of years, I have been mentored, assisted, and led my own shows from plays to musicals, coming in and choreographing intimate moments. From kisses to cuddles to simulated sex acts on stage. So I'm now going to a nine day training in Hartford, Connecticut, which is my final destination tomorrow, to meet a bunch of other intimacy directors from all around the nation and train for 90s with them. I, as a person, love long car rides, so driving eight hours by myself was actually really lovely. It gave me a chance to catch up on my podcasts, sing along to some musicals. I had a good time. Tomorrow, we continue for part two of the drive, uh, which will be from Clarion, Pennsylvania, to Hartford, Connecticut at the Eugene O'Neill Center, which is our final destination. I'm gonna move this setup because my camera keeps going out of focus because I am in darkness, because to get this nice symmetrical light, it means that I am backlit. I'm now over in the little reading nook of my room, which I believe my camera will like better. So driving to the Midwest as a southerner, especially in winter. So reference, I didn't grow up with winter, not real winter. I grew up with around 60 to 80 degrees on Christmas. So driving through the Midwest and seeing barn after barn after cornfield, after farm equipment, all dusted with snow, was really majestic. It really made me think of a Norman Rockwell painting, and I can really understand the majesty and the beauty of the Midwest. I can also understand why you'd hate it if you grew up in it, in the same way that I'm not a big fan of the plains, because I grew up there. Between the flatness, the churches, the empty road, and the wide sky, it really reminded me a lot of driving in Texas and growing up. Being with yourself for eight hours gives you a lot of time to do exactly that. Be with yourself to reflect about where you are in life, where you've been, where you're going, where you want to go. This time last year, I did another road trip across the country. I drove to Arkansas and then continued on to New Orleans. By that time, I was running away. I was running away from Chicago and a life that I was very unhappy in, a life that I felt trapped in. Now I get to go drive across the country east instead of south. And instead of driving away from something, I am driving towards an incredible training opportunity. I am driving towards a life that I've been building for myself since last year, and honestly, since before. Life has a really strange way of winding and taking roads that you don't know you're on until you find yourself in the middle of them. It's really hard to pinpoint when this journey began. It's fun to create stories, and sometimes it's really useful when people ask me how I got involved in intimacy design to just pick a point and say, this was my start, and I've continued since there. But the truth is, any beginning is arbitrary. This is the year that I'm running two things instead of away from things. I just spent eight fantastic hours alone in a car, and honestly, the time flew by. I'm excited for my drive again tomorrow. I'm excited for the rest of this beer tonight, and to flop in my hotel bed. And I'm really excited to see what the next nine days hold. Cheers. Oh, finished day two of driving. Today was harder. Today, there's a lot of snow in Pennsylvania. I think it's better lighting. I am here at the Eugene O'Neill Theater Center in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I'm so tired. Uh, driving through the Allegheny Forest in snow is absolutely beautiful, especially as someone from Texas. Uh, pine trees are pretty. Snow is pretty. My hair is pretty messed up. So I am all settled in to my very beautiful dormitory here that I am staying in. There's a two-person dormitory, but I am the only person staying in it, which is very nice. I'm sharing a beautiful little cottage house with a bunch of other intimacy directors, but I'm really excited to see what the next nine days holds. I have no idea, but let's learn some stuff and make some friends. That is where half of our training goes on. Uh, we have not done any of the training yet. I'm really excited. Just met everybody this morning. And wow, what a cool group of people from literally all over the world. Uh, one of my housemates is a dope dude named Emil uh, from South Africa. We have people from Canada, me from Chicago, people from Atlanta. Um, it's Super exciting. I'm gonna learn apps. I want to learn so much. I've already learned stuff. What am I most excited for? I am very excited for this setting to be here in 
a space intended for and built for theater. Um, spaces built with the intention of art are some of the most beautiful spaces, emotionally in my opinion. Like, spaces intended for art are my church. Um, you hear a lot of rappers say, like, the studio is my church. But to be here, to be surrounded by all of these artists that have been doing, working in the same field that I've been doing, but doing completely different work. And it's so exciting. I'm going to learn so much. Um, yeah. End of day three, first day of choreography, and I taught a 10 minute exercise. Forgive me for being vague about the workshop, but this is very important work that needs to be learned in person and not something that can be gleaned from a YouTube video. So I don't want to say things in this video that lead someone to think, oh, I know intimacy direction now. To just sit in a room and talk about power dynamics and the ways in which it influences a room and to talk about choreography and the smallest changes that you can make and the efficacy of language and of movement, it's astonishing. And it's day three out of nine. And it also got very emotional in that uh, during one of the exercises in which we were tearing paper, I had to leave the room and started crying. Uh, because even though in intimate scenes, in movies, plays, television, it's happening between characters, the feelings those actors are experiencing that are real. Uh, the physiological happenings in those moments are real. And to know how to handle that and to know how to choreograph it and to know how to pre and after care, not just the actors, but the entire room is a lot. And that's exactly what I'm here to learn. And I'm learning by not just the best of the field, but literally by the people that created it. And I'm very tired physically and emotionally. And I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't know when I'm gonna check in here again, but I will. We are at the end of day eight. Today has been entirely about closure. Closure from this entire weekend. Not just closure from the negative or the hard emotions that came up, but also the positive. And that's what's hard sometimes, is letting go of the good things. But by letting go of the good things, you let them return to you. And by letting go of the good things, you get in the practice of letting go of the bad things. So we went down to the beach, and this is kind of the first time in nine days that I've actually had alone time during the day, because all day it's been workshopping uh, and just going, going, going from 9.30 in the morning to 5.30 at night, which is incredible. And then we all would usually decide to eat together. Like we had lunch together, we'd have dinner together. And then a lot of us would usually also go and hang out together in a big communal space. And to be honest, I don't even know how to talk about this week because there's so much, there's so much still to process. There is so much that I didn't know that I needed to process that I was able to release and I go of here. And I get to return to Chicago and return to my life with this beautiful new confidence and with my heart and my chest where it belongs. I'm sorry if any or all of this vlog seems very anticlimactic, but it is what it is. Intimacy direction is a beautiful, beautiful art. I take great joy and great love in participating in. And I'm very, very excited to continue contributing to this craft and this field. I'm gonna keep loving. Let's see what my mood looks like tomorrow after an eight hour drive back to Pennsylvania and then another eight hour drive back to Chicago. But right now, gratitude and love. <laughs>